you are looking for some support for current affairs, if you are a fresher, you are a working professional, you are a repeater, but you want some support for current affairs, then I have a program for you. Uh, I have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description. You can watch if you are interested. Right? Hello all. Welcome back to Current Affairs Settler Series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about personal non grata. Personal non grata. See, you have to understand Vienna Convention of 1961 first. Vienna Convention of 1961 first, then you will go for personal non grata. Here, uh, let us take an example to understand this topic. You are becoming a foreign service officer, IFS officer. Now, you are an IFS officer now. Now you are posted in Pakistan, you are posted in China, you are posted in Afghanistan or any other country. Now in these countries you have to work without fear. You have to work without fear. Right? These countries may not be having a conducive relationship with India but when you are posted as a diplomat in those countries, it can be in any country also, but you have to work without fear. So if you want to work without fear, then you need some immunity. You need some immunity, some diplomatic immunity is required. And this immunity should not just be for you, it should be also for your family who are staying along with you there. So you go to Pakistan, you serve there as a uh, diplomat, you want to work there without any fear, you should be immune and your family should also be immune from certain things. You should have some additional powers. Only then without fear you will work. So that diplomatic immunity is defined in this 1961, 1961 Vienna Convention. 1961 Vienna Convention. Clear? So this Vienna Convention is about diplomatic immunity. At the same time, at the same time, now let me assume, so you are posted, IF, you are an IFS officer, you are posted in uh, Pakistan or China or any other country. Let's say you are an IFS. You work in some other Canada, some other, any other country. If you are doing something against that other country, if you are doing something against or if you are doing something uh, against the interest of that country, now let's take an example only. Someone from China is working as a diplomat in India. This Chinese person, this Chinese person has immunity. He is having Vienna Convention's diplomatic immunity. But assume that this Chinese person, he is doing something against the interest of India. So Indian government found it. Now Indian government wants to send that person back. Indian government want to send the person back. Is there any permission? Vienna Convention Article 9. Article 9 of Vienna Convention itself says that in such situations, without giving any explanation, Indian government can, need not give any explanation, can simply declare that diplomatic member, that simply can, Indian government can declare that diplomat as personal non grata. That means, Unwelcome person. Literal translation is unwelcome person. Personal non grata means unwelcome person. So, a Chinese diplomat working inside India is doing something against India. Now, Indian government can declare him as personal non grata. So, if Indian government uh, decides that person to be a non personal non grata, that means if he decides to be an unwelcome person, now what happens? He has to leave. He has to leave. But if he is choosing to stay back in India, if he is choosing to stay back in India, then he can stay back, but Indian government will not recognize him as a member of the diplomatic mission. Put it simply, if he continues to stay back, then no immune power will be given. Indian government will treat him as a normal foreigner only. That extra immunity will not be given. Right? Are you able to understand? Diplomats to work without fear, they have immunity defined by Vienna Convention. Almost 99% of the countries in the world they have signed it. Just few countries have not signed that convention. So that Vienna Convention gives that security for you to work in a foreign land. But however, however, if that country where you are working, if that country is feeling that you are not good, 
that first the country can use Article 9 of Vienna Convention and say and, and mention the diplomat as unwelcome person and when declare the diplomat as persona non grata. If Indian government declares that Chinese diplomat as persona non grata, he has to go back. If he is not going back, very simple, India will not recognize him as a diplomat and he will not be having any powers. Why it was the news? So, for several reasons it was the news, in the month of May I am telling you, Canada government was mentioning a Chinese diplomat that was mentioning a Chinese diplomat that he is meddling into the political affairs of Canada. He is intimidating Canada politicians. So put it simply, a Chinese diplomat inside Canada was involving in politics of Canada. Canada government was saying this. Chinese government got offended. So Chinese government, they declared a Canadian diplomat inside China as persona non grata. Canada government is accusing China, Chinese diplomats for involving Canadian politics. Now Chinese government in retaliate back. To retaliate back they said, they mentioned one Canadian diplomat inside China as persona non grata. I hope the topic was useful. I will see you tomorrow with another interesting topic. Till then, bye. Take care.